There's an issue that I've been having with uh, Caden Live, or maybe I should, I had with Caden Live, I finally solved it, uh, and I thought, I didn't really see too many real solutions online, I just kind of stumbled into it like a blind mouse or something. So I thought I'd go ahead and, and share it. So the issue is uh, compositing multiple layers. You can see I've got four video layers, and I've got, they're all on mute, so you're not going to hear anything. Uh, so these are all my own videos because I'm a narcissist. And so here's the, the idea is I want to put multiple layers on top of each other. So here is the base layer. This is full screen. And here, uh, and so this, this is one of my old algebra videos. Here is, this looks like it's one of my open VPN videos. And it should be in the upper left corner, more or less. And uh, here is one of my Today I Learned a Programming Thing videos. Uh, and it's in the right side, right-ish side. And here is another one of my old math videos. This is a Maxima video. So you would think that you would just have this, and then this on top of that, then this on top of that, then this on top of that, right? Well, what are the weird issues of Caden Live when it comes to compositing? You would think that it would, because these are all... These composites are all set, clicked yes. But for some reason, that composite only goes down one layer. So if I do this, see that works just fine. But then, if I add one more, and then oops, shift, you have to hold down shift to select multiple files, not files, multiple clips. Now, it only shows the top one. So I don't know why it's done this way. Maybe it's a technical limitation. I don't know anything about the code behind Caden Live. But one of the odd things about this, so you think that this composite, since all these composites are selected, that it should go all the way down, but it doesn't. Instead, you have to actually add a transition to these. So it didn't work. I don't know what I did wrong here. Something about transitions. They act funny sometimes. So, might be editing this out. Oh, because I have multiple files selected. I forgot if you have multiple files selected or grouped together, it won't add the transition properly. That's, there's a lot of weird, I mean, I like Caden Live, it's really cool, but there's a lot of weird things about it like that. So, you, what you need to do is you need to take the uh, composite transition and put it over the whole thing. So what the way this works now is with the composite, I mean, this is not the technical def, uh, description, this is just the way that I've noticed the way it works. The composite basically means these three clips that are joined together with this composite transition, they're all together, they're all joined as, as one. Uh, so that means that the limitation this only goes down one, well, now it applies to all three of these. So, now, and it's uh, running kind of slowly because I've got three video clips on top of it. I hope the sound quality doesn't crap out on me. Now it should actually work correctly, and I didn't realize that I've actually ended up uh, covering up pretty much the whole video. <laughs> doesn't really matter, but you can still see the, the example at the end, The um, so it should still work fine. Let's go ahead and move that down a little bit. Yeah, so you can see the trinomial... The, oops, the wrong one. You can see that the that's still there. If I actually try to play this, it's gonna it's gonna. You can see my CPU activity is already pretty high because of all the clips. So let's see, it's gonna it's gonna go super slow. I sure hope this audio is still recording correctly. <laughs> so yeah, that's going really slow. So what if I want to have all this stuff zoom in? Well, you'll notice that this composite is just for these two, so I could still go ahead and add a dissolve here, and a dissolve here, and you can already see the effects that it's, it's uh, dissolving, the whole, all three of them are dissolving in. Okay, so you can see that it's basically working correctly, and there's a lot of details on how to deal with the composite. Uh, you could probably, I would imagine, I could be wrong, but you could probably deal with some kind, add in some kind of, so like this says composite, you could probably do some kind of a, uh, 
uh, dissolve, and this, and this is keyframable. Not not everything is keyframable, but in this case, uh, the composite is. So that should work now, and I could I could render this, but I don't really want to because it's kind of a pointless video. I just wanted to show how this works out. There are definitely some non-intuitive things about Caden Live. There's not intuitive things about any video editor. Uh, Caden Live is definitely the best free one that I've used. I used to use Adobe Premiere when I was in high school and early college, but I don't use Windows anymore. Uh, and Caden Live is pretty dang cool. Uh, but it does have some weird things that you kind of have to work around. Kind of like GIMP. GIMP is a dang cool image editing program, but there's just weird things you have to work around. Uh, I think it's worth the effort. I don't know if you agree. At any rate, I just wanted to make this video so that I can show how to composite these, because this is a problem that is... I just didn't see anything online that had a clear explanation. So hopefully this will help someone that comes across the same problem with compositing.